Hey Warriors, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Today we are going to make over this mid-century chest. And last week we did the matching dresser and we are going to make it a matching set. However, as you can see, even though it's a matching set, each piece always comes with its unique challenges. So let's go ahead and get started. If your brush is stiff, we keep our brushes. If you just, the brushes turn very hard with the stripper. If you just dab it in here, it softens it right back up. So you can keep using these brushes till they're really worn out. Make sure you're wearing a mask when you do this. Now, if you're in an area that's warm, you may want to cover it with cellophane. We're pretty cool today, so I think we'll be okay without it. And then we'll let that sit for about 10 or 15 minutes. And we'll see what comes off. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes. I'm not necessarily expecting this to go down to the wood on the first, yeah. What this is doing is it's taking off all that shellac or lacquer top coat. So I'll probably have to go down to a, see if a second coat will take the, some more of this off. The second one will probably take more of this off. So, this is where we use the an old paint can is great for this. You can use a uh, cardboard box or we just prefer to have something that we can seal back up. And then, when this can gets fairly full, we can dispose of it properly. Okay, so at this point we're going to go ahead and clean it up with some steel wool. And some mineral spirits. Whoops, that was a little excessive. This will clean it all up and it will neutralize any stripper that's left on here. Let's go ahead and dry it off. At this point, I'm thinking we may go ahead and use our scraper. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and use the carbide scraper. I may just go to sanding on this. Sorry. Hey. Sorry. 
Bad cameraman. <laughs> you want light? I'll give you light. I can't do it. Well, you're tightening for one. Out. Straight. <laughs> I'm gonna slap you. <laughs> Here. Here. Oh man. I have a love-hate relationship with this kind of thing. I love that usually when people do this, the drawers are in really nice shape. I hate taking <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna do a quick, quick. Okay, so <laughs> we're gonna do a, we're gonna do a quick scuff sand on these. Um, Paper towel. We've determined the fingers are the proper tool for spreading glue. <laughs> We've got a few repairs that we need to do. We got a gouge down here on the base that we're going to fix up. So I'm using some quick wood. We don't need a whole lot, I don't think. With a quick wood, it's a two part. So I gotta do is cut a piece of, oops, cut a piece off. Mix it together so it's all one color. This is one of the drawers that was kind of squishy going in. It's because this is actually kind of bowed out. So we're gonna put another nail in here. The nail is gone. Much better.
And we're gonna mix up just a touch of the Durham's water putty. This actually takes very little water, that's why I'm using the mister to do this. Okay. Okay, so we're going to sand down the areas that we're going to stain, we're going to scuff sand the rest. We're going to cut the bottom so that it matches the dresser that we did last week. So we're just going to do a straight line along here. So we're going to measure just like we did on the um, dresser. We're going to measure and make a mark at two inches here and add two and a half inches here. We'll take a straight edge, we'll match these up. Thank you. 
gonna put a little of liquid sandpaper, a little reassurance. Okay, 
go ahead and start getting some hardware in. Okay, while we finish this up and get things put together, we'll show you what we started with, and then we'll show you the final reveal, and hopefully we'll be able to fit it in the in our staging area. We'll show you the match set. We think these came out really beautiful. Let us know what you think in the comments. We hope you enjoyed watching as much as we enjoyed doing this. And as always, have a flippin' awesome day.